are going to be blasting off with the Holy Spirit this morning. So I am super excited. So let's go ahead and get started. Everyone bow your head, close your eyes. And let's talk to Jesus for a moment. Jesus, we love you so much. We thank you for all the fun that we have had at Vacation Bible School. And the day's not over yet. We have one more day full of fun and excitement and power to blast off with you. And we just thank you for everything that you're going to do today. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Astronauts! 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 Yesterday was so amazing. I met Jesus, my Lord. It was so awesome. It was extra amazing. It was, I don't know how to explain it. I just want to dance. Does anyone want to dance with me? Get up on your feet. Um, is there a little girl in here by the name of Elliot? Elliot, are you here? Elliot? Can you come here for me, Elliot? Come here, Elliot. Elliot, run down here, darling. Run, run this way. Right this way, Elliot, right this way. Elliot, will you dance with me? I said, woo, woo, it's hot in here. There must be a commander in the atmosphere. You say it, woo, woo. It's hot in here. There must be a commander in the atmosphere. One more time. Wood, wood, it's hot in here. There must be a commander in the atmosphere. Hang on a second. Let's see if Mission Control got it. Oh, Mission Control, it's your turn. Oh, uh, woo, woo. It's hot out here. <laughs> there must be Mission Control in the atmosphere, over. One more time, Mission Control. <laughs> woot woot, it's hot out here. There must be Mission Control in the atmosphere. Yes, he got it. You can go back to your seats now. Thank you so much. Thank you, Elliot. Oh, woot woot, it's hot in here. There must be a commander in the atmosphere. Your turn, Mission Control. Woo woo, it's hot out here. There must be a Mission Control in the atmosphere. Woo -woo. I love that guy. Commander Pluto, you yes. are very excited this morning. I am very excited. What is going on? And, and you're all buddy-buddy with Mission Control? Oh, Nelly. Mission Control is my brother in Christ. The love of God showed me that I need to be nicer and more considerate okay. of mission control. He is, how do you kids say it today? Um, my homie. Homie. Uh, mission control to Nellie Neptune. Commander hey. Pluto's report is affirmative. We are indeed homies. Homies? My homies. Wow, that's impressive. Over. <laughs> okay, so where are we going today, Commander Pluto? Today we are going to visit Mercury and Venus. Mercury and Venus? Mercury but and Venus. Aren't those the planets that are closest to the sun? That is going to be hot. Well, you better get your hot dogs on your marshmallows. Anybody like hot dogs? I do. Does anybody like marshmallows? I really like marshmallows. Are we going to explore? That doesn't mean I'm going to give you them. That just means I want to know if you like them. Anyway, we are going to <laughs> roast them as we orbit around Mercury and Venus. They're going to be so good, like crispy even. Ooh, Extra crispy, crispy marshmallows. Please. So, but, but can we actually step onto those planets? Oh, no, Nellie. Aww. No human can actually step onto Mercury and Venus. Okay. It would, you would burn right up. Oh. We are just going to orbit and observe their beauty. Well, speaking of fire and speaking of heat, Commander huh. Pluto, did you know there is a gift that Jesus wants to give you? after you receive him as your Lord? What did you just say? There is a gift that Jesus wants to give you after you receive him as your Lord. I, I'm sorry, what did you just say? Jesus has a gift for you! 
there's a gift for me. There's a gift for me. There's a gift for me. I love gifts. Gifts are awesome. Did you hear that? There's a gift for me. I'm so excited. There's a gift for me. <clears throat> what about this gift? I want to hear more. Do you want to know what the gift is? Tell me what the gift is. Do you want to know what the gift is? What is the gift? It is the gift of speaking in tongues. You see, Commander Pluto, in the book of Acts, in the Bible, oh when people received the baptism of the Holy Spirit, it says that something like tongues of fire came and sat on their heads. Fire? <laughs> on my head? I can't have fire on my head. I just got a new do. You know what I mean? Oh, I just got it, a new do. It looks really nice, Commander Pluto, Thank but... You. This is the kind of fire that you do want. It's not going to mess up your new deal. I got it. So tell me more about this Holy Spirit. Okay, so when you receive the Holy Spirit and you speak in tongues, the Bible says that your inner man, that is your spirit, is strengthened. You get bigger and bigger and stronger and stronger on the inside, and you receive power. Power? It's like blast off power, like uh -huh. supersonic warp yes. speed blast off power. Did someone say blast off? Initiated blast sequence and team. No, all the missing control. <laughs> missing control. I am so, I'm so sorry. I apologize, <laughs> missing control. I, I didn't mean blast off like that. We're in the middle of a conversation. Yes. I know you're always listening, and that's totally, totally fine. Uh -huh. We will be more specific next time. Totally forgiven, Ork. Yes. Well, this is the kind of power yes. that can lift you into outer space. It gives you the power to tell others about Jesus and to know things are to come. When you receive this power, you're going to feel like you're floating again. Whoa! Like when you receive Jesus. It sounds like this Holy Spirit will make me even more smarter. Mm -hmm. I know it's hard to believe more that I could get smarter than I already am. But it will make me even more smarter, and, 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 and it'll make me faster, uh -huh. and it'll make me stronger. Nellie, what must I do to receive the Holy Ghost? It is super simple. All you have to do is ask Jesus to fill you up. So we're just going to pray a prayer again. We're going to pray a just prayer. Just pray this prayer with me. And you too, Mission Control. Mission Control to Nellie Neptune. I am ready, Nellie Neptune. Light it up. Okay, dear Jesus. Dear, dear Jesus. Jesus. I ask you oh, now. Nelly, Nelly. Yes, yes, sir. Can the boys and girls pray this prayer with us? Absolutely. Boys and girls, would you like to receive this gift? Okay. So, Commander Pluto, Mission Control, and yes. boys and girls, repeat this prayer. Are after you ready, me. boys and girls? Here we go. Let's repeat this prayer. Dear Jesus, Dear Jesus, I ask you now. I ask you now. Fill me to overflowing. Fill me to overflow with your Holy Spirit. With your Holy Spirit. And I will speak in tongues. And I will speak in tongues. As the Holy Spirit tells me what to say. As the Holy Spirit tells me what to say. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And now all you have to do is start praying in tongues. Oh, that's awesome, Nelly. I feel amazing. This is awesome. I'm, 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 I'm on cloud nine, planet nine, whatever you want to call it. Planet nine? Hold on. I must check on my homie. Oh, check on your homie. Mission control. Man, a commander Pluto to mission control. Did you receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost? That is affirmative. I am all fired up. Over. <laughs> that is amazing. That is amazing. So, Commander Pluto, Mission Control, and boys and girls, every day when you pray in this special language, it will help empower your walk with God even more. Nelly, you are so amazing. You've shown me so much about, uh, about Jesus and the Holy Spirit and the love of God. Mm -hmm. How can I ever repay you, Nellie? I, I know. Really? I'm going to teach you everything I know. 
about space travel, space travel. about other planets, about distant galaxies, about faraway reaches of the universe. And I'm going to teach you everything I know about traveling at warp speed and even, <laughs> even, you know what? What? With the power of the Holy Ghost, uh -huh. we may even make a few new discoveries. <gasps> Whoa! <clears throat> Did you say new discoveries? And we will be sure that if we make any new discoveries, we report them to, according to the rules, young ladies and gentlemen, the super we report rules. them to Mission, Mission Control. Control. All right, I want to hear you scream it out. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three. Sorry, we're on Earth now, so I can take my space helmet off. I don't have to worry about, worry about the atmosphere. All right, it's sweet. Hey, how are you guys doing? Woo! Awesome. So on Tuesday, we blasted off with, who remembers? That was yesterday. We... Jesus, we blasted off with Jesus, and then yesterday, what did we blast off with? Faith. Faith. So, who did Nellie Neptune and Professor Pluto just talk about? They talked about the Holy Spirit. So, we're going we're gonna to actually read some of the scriptures that they talked about, and we're going to kind of go through this. So, um, first... Before we do that, I have a short video that I want you guys to watch, real short, and I want you to see and 
take an idea. Let's, let's figure out what's so important and what's awesome about this video. So, Val, if you can show that quick video for us. We're going to watch this and we're going to talk about it. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 8, start, 2, 1, boost ignition, and liftoff of the Space Center Discovery. That is awesome, right? That's awesome. All right, so space shuttles, it takes a lot of power, a lot of power to launch a rocket into space. A lot, a lot, a lot. Did you guys know, okay, in your parents' cars, depending on how fast your parents drive, some of them, you know, if you're driving on the freeway, you'll go 60, 70, maybe 80 miles an hour. Um, if you have a brother or sister with a lead foot, you might drive a little faster. But did you know, like, space shuttles, when they're going to the space, they go 18,000 miles per hour. 18,000 miles per hour. So in order to be in a rocket ship, to be able to go into space, you have to go through months and years of training to be able to, to handle the pressure. So what if I told you that you guys are rocket ships? You're like, what? In the spirit, you guys are rocket ships with all of this power locked up inside. But let's, let's figure out how to unlock this power. All right, so let's go to Matthew 3.11. We're going to just tell a couple stories real quick, and then we're going to talk about how that applies to you, and then we're going to pray. All right, so this is John the Baptist. He was the guy who went out in the wilderness, and he told everybody that, hey, guys, Jesus is coming, Jesus is coming, Jesus is coming. And so this is what he said. He said, I baptize with water those who repent of their sins and turn to God, but someone is coming soon who is greater than I am. That someone was Jesus. And he said, so much greater that I'm not worthy to even be his slave or carry his sandals. But he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. What did it take for that rocket to launch? What did they need? They needed fire. There is a big, huge tank with all of this fuel in it, all of this stuff just ready to go. But without fire, it's just a tank of fuel. But the moment you add fire to it, blast off. Okay, so let's read another scripture. So that was, that was when they were saying, you know what, I'm going to fill you with Holy Spirit and fire. And then next in Luke. Now, this is Jesus. Jesus is already there, and he said, he's getting ready to leave. And he says, now I will send the Holy Spirit just as my father promised. But stay here in the city until the Holy Spirit comes to fill you with power from heaven. So the Holy Spirit, fire, and power. Okay, so let's, let's go a little further. Let's go a little further. And in, in Acts, this is right after Jesus. He rose, and he was hanging out with the disciples. And in Acts 1, verse 4, he said, Once when he was eating with them, this is Jesus, he commanded them, Don't leave Jerusalem until the Father sends you the gift he promised. Remember, Nellie Neptune said, There's a gift, okay? This is that gift. As I told you before, a John the Baptist baptized with water, which is awesome. Water baptism is amazing. If you, have, if you believe in Jesus and you haven't been baptized yet, that's an awesome thing to do. But in just a few days, you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. What comes with the Holy Spirit? Fire. And what comes with that fire? Power. Awesome. And we're skipped to verse 8. And it said, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses, telling people about me everywhere. Here's, here's the cool thing about this. Jesus said a lot of words. He taught a lot of things. But this is the very last statement Jesus made here on earth. The last thing he said before he went back into heaven on earth as a man was, you're going to get power from the Holy Spirit. How many Jesuses were there? One. And how many people are on the earth? A lot. There are billions of people on the earth right now. 
And since the beginning of time, there have been like 50 billion people to live on the earth. But there was only one Jesus. So he needed to make sure that when he left, he left us with the same power that he had. So he left us with the Holy Spirit, which is awesome. So let's, let's take a look at what happened when the Holy Spirit actually came. And this is in Acts 2. And it said, on the day of Pentecost, the believers. Are you guys believers? You got some believers in the house? So these are all the people who followed Jesus. Jesus is already gone. But Jesus said, listen, don't leave. Don't leave. Don't leave. You need to stay there because I'm going to send the Holy Spirit who is going to come with what? Power. In what form is he going to come in? Fire. Fire. So it said the believers were meeting together in one place. And suddenly there was a sound from heaven like a roaring of a mighty windstorm, and it filled the house where they were sitting. Then what looked like flames or tongues of fire appeared and settled on each one of them. So the Holy Spirit blew through the room. Guys, you see when the rocket ship flew off and you see all the the smoke and all the the puff and the cloud, that's kind of what happened. The Holy Spirit came and filled the room, and what did he leave? Fire. Fire. Again, you have all of this fuel inside of you. Like once you, you accept and you receive Jesus, he makes you a rocket ship, a super-powered rocket ship. And then when you add faith, you fill up that rocket ship with faith fuel. And then the Holy Spirit comes and he adds what? Fire. And what happens when you add fire to the fuel? Blast off. Blast off. So here's what happened, guys. I know a lot of you guys, like, have parents. A lot of you guys pray in tongues and you speak. What happens is God is a God of words, and he loves using words. There are power in words. So what he did is he gave us his words. So sometimes you're like, oh, that sounds funny. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that says. But it's the language of heaven, and you know what's attached to those words? Fire. There's fire in those words. And the fire in those words sets fire to the fuel that's inside of you, the fire from your faith. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to give, we're going to do a small little demonstration, and then we're going to pray, and we're going to lay hands on you guys so you can receive that fire if you want it. So we're going to see if she wants to help me out. Hey, Ariana, you want to come help Daddy? Come here. Come help me, baby. So this is my daughter, and so here's what we're going to do. Jesus, which rocket do you want to use? This one. Ah, my daughter, she likes the red one. So once you receive Jesus, you are a rocket ship with a lot of fuel. So here's what I need you to do, baby. I'm going to give you this rocket, and I want you to throw it in the air as high as you can. Throw it. It's pretty good. Throw it again. Throw it again. Throw it again. Ooh, kind of nice. It flies, right? Come here. Come over here. Come over here. So I want you to throw it over there. Make it fly. One more time. Make it fly. Make it fly. Yeah. Okay. So the rocket, it flies a little bit, right? It's kind of cool. But stay here. But what happens if we add the Holy Spirit to that rocket? Again, you guys are a rocket ship with fuel. Now we need to add the fire of the Holy Spirit. She's a different one. All right, so go over here. All right, so on the count of three, we're going to, first we're going to pray, Lord Jesus, let this work the way it's supposed to work. (laughs) And then on the count of three, We're going to see what happens when the Holy Spirit sets fire to the fuel that's inside of us. Okay? All right. One, two, three. Let's do it again. All right. Here we go. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. On the count of three, you guys are going to shout. What words should we shout? 
All right, on the count of three, we're going to say blast off. And this is what happens when you let the Holy Spirit take control of your words. Here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> All right. Good job. Thank you, baby. Thank you, thank thank you. Okay. How many of you want to blast off by speaking in tongues and having the Holy Spirit set fire to your words? If you do, I want you to come on up and just stay right here. And we're going to pray for you guys. We're going to pray for the Holy Spirit to come and take over. Oh, blessed be your name, Jesus. All right, here's, here's what's going to happen. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pray in tongues just so you know that it's not some super scary, crazy thing. All right? So listen. See, now I can stop and I can talk in English. Or I can talk in heavenly language. Now back to English. Even those... Even those swallowers, hey guys, do me a favor, step down off the steps so that we're not crowding and not getting too crushed in. So I'm going to pray for you, then I'm going to have you guys repeat after me. So Father God, I thank you so much for these, for these children, Lord. I thank you for this, this week, for this VBS, Lord. I thank you that you have put a desire in their hearts for you. Lord, we thank you that they blasted off with Jesus. We thank you, Lord, that they blasted off with faith. And we thank you for the fuel that comes with that faith, Lord. And we ask right now that you set fire to that fuel. Set fire to it, Lord Jesus. Holy Spirit, come into this place. Come into this place. Touch each and every one of them, Lord. Devil, you have no place in the lives of these children. No place. We stand now as guardians over their minds, over their hearts, and we ask Holy Spirit that you join with us. All right, guys. So I know some of you repeated this um, with Nelly Neptune, Professor Pluto, but let's just close our eyes and let's just lift our hands and just say this after me. Holy Spirit, fill me. Holy Spirit, come into my heart. Holy Spirit, come upon me. Say, Holy Spirit, I receive you. I receive you with the gift of speaking in tongues. Holy Spirit, set fire to my words in Jesus' name. So here's what you have to do, guys. It's not a scary, crazy thing. It may feel like you're just kind of making up stuff, babbling words, but how many of you guys trust Jesus? You trust Jesus. How many of you trust the Father? Trust, trust God. So if you trust Jesus and you trust the Father, you can trust the Holy Spirit. So we're going we're gonna to just start praying. And I just want you to open your mouth and you're just going to start to let the words flow out. Step down the stairs, guys. Step down the stairs. Okay? And we have, I'm going to walk kind of amongst you guys. I'm going to lay hands. We're just going to pray in the Spirit, okay? All right? So as Bethany, as Miss Bethany plays, um, adults in the room. Um, right now, we just need you guys just real quietly to pray in the spirit as well. Let's let's soak this atmosphere. Alright guys. So 
You just have to open your mouth and start letting the words flow. Stand back to our feet. When someone gives you a gift, what do you have to do? Yeah, you say, listen, I wasn't even thinking that, but yes, we say thank you. So let's just thank the Lord. Say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For sending the Holy Spirit. Thank you. Awesome. So all you have to do is receive that gift. Listen, if you said words today or not, it's okay. By faith, we know that the Holy Spirit is here with you guys. We know that the Holy Spirit has come upon you guys. So, all right. So one last time. On the count of three, you guys are going to give me a blast off, and we're going to send this thing to the moon. All right. No, hold on. One... Two, three. All right, thank you, Super Kids. You guys can go and have a seat. Have a seat. Have a seat. Romans 10 9 says, If you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. If you've never asked Jesus to be the Lord of your life, pray this prayer with me. Say, Jesus, I believe that you died on the cross and that you were raised from the dead. I ask you to forgive me of all of my sins and be my Lord and Savior. Thank you, Jesus, for loving me and for being my best friend. In Jesus' name, amen. If that was your first time to pray that, congratulations, it's celebration time. The Bible says that when one child comes into the family of God, all of heaven celebrates and we wanna celebrate with you. Parents, if that was your child's first time praying the prayer of salvation, we want you to contact us at the email below. We'd like to give them a celebration certificate and additional information that will help them in their walk with Jesus. Welcome to the family. Thank you for watching Super Kid Academy at Eagle Mountain International Church. Kids, get your parents' permission and visit us on Instagram, 
Facebook or at emic.org. We'll see you next time at Super Kid Academy.